Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prashapati and in this tutorial we're gonna see what does GPU test means in database. So in the previous lecture we have been seeing about uh, the coding of PySpark and Spark SQL and you know the basic syntax of database or we can say the basic, basic syntax of PySpark. But in this video we will be seeing what does debuters means and what does it do so let's get started so see i so for this video what i have done i have created this source folder inside my file store inside my dbfs okay what does dbfs means it is a file system okay where we can store a kind of files so i have created this source folder and the target folder and in this source folder we have uh, three files called a.csv b.csv and c.txt okay but in the target folder we do not have anything it's empty right now so what we will be doing we will be copying or you know we will be using dbutils command okay and we will perform some actions we can say and we push everything to the target folder so it is kind of you know copying the files from one location to another location or we can say a moving a file from one location to another deleting a file from the source location or we can say a target location reading the file from the location list of the files listing the files from the from the location and so on so if i go back to my database notebook this is the command dbutils.fs.help when you write it down you will see these three things mount we will talk about later okay we will see about uh, fs utils and then here we have uh, one two three four five six seven commands okay so it is simple command if you are from python or linux uh, background then you might uh, know about it so we will see one by one what does it do and you know how it works so okay what i do here first i will write db dot debuters dot fs dot ls okay ls means list okay here we have to pass the file path so right now i do not have any external storage account so that's why i'm using dbfs if you have any any external storage account like blob adls or s3 bucket then you can mount it and then you can use these the same feature okay so i will write file store then i have a folder called source right and if i do here enter see what it will return it will return all the list of the i mean list of the files which is present in the in the directory or we can say a folder in a in a in a normal uh, way okay so this is the first command we have seen second command is suppose you have like we have this so uh, we have this file okay called file store source a dot csv i want to what i want to i want to copy it into the into the target folder okay then what I will do so first i will show you what files we have it in our target folder so if i write here file is store and i write a target let's see it will it an empty because right now we do not have anything inside this target folder so in order to move the file from one location to another we will use a copy command okay so here i will write dbutils.fs.cp and here i will write first path okay so here what i need to do i need to copy a single file i do not want to copy a whole directory or whole folder so what i will do i will write here till the file name okay and then second will be this if i run it let's see cannot copy direct unless it okay 
I will make it too. Okay. Now, if I run again this command, let's see what is here. We have mm, okay. By default, by default, we have a delta log present here, delta log file present here, and the part file has been created with the format parquet. But I see we had a file in the CSV format. But when we copied the file, it copied in the packet format. But we, we, did, we did not want to do this. Okay. We don't want to change the format. So in order to keep or maintain the format, what would I write? I will write the same file name. So if I run it again. And now if I run it again, you can see we will have a file called a.csv okay so what i will do first i will remove um, i will remove okay don't remove it so if you see in the source folder we have three files right a.csv b.csv c.txt till now what we have done we have copied a single file i don't want to do it i want to copy the whole directory so what would I do? So I will write, I will remove this file name and uh, I will remove this and I will run it. Let's see what does it do. Okay, it's taking some time. It's done. Now if I do a list of the target folder we can see we have a c.txt, b.txt and a.csv is already present, right? So that's why it is uh, present here. Like it, it got overwritten, overwritten, okay? Overwritten we can say, okay? And yeah, that's it. This is the cp command. cp means copy command. Right, now we will move to tributes.remove. Uh, Let's say remove. So, in order to remove the file from the system, from the file system, what we do, we just pass the path, okay. Mm -hmm. And suppose I need to delete this delta log, I don't want it in my file system. So, uh, this is target, right? So, I will write a target folder here and then I will write a true statement. Make it true. Now, once it is done, now if we look back into this, then we can see this uh, delta log file has been removed from the target folder. Likewise, if I pass this function like this file path here, after running this command, this file has been removed. So if I do a list, then we can see we have only a.csv, b.csv, and c.txt. Correct. So that is also being done. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't cancel it. I will continue in the new cell. Now we have a dbu this dot, let's say, fs dot mv command. mv means move command. Okay, when we move, when we want to move, a file from one location to another like we don't want to keep a copy okay just we need to uh, you know take a file from the source and put it in a new location without making a copy so we will use mv command here what i will do i will write the same thing the path is source here right source and i write here it a.csv then here I will write I will write here target a.csv right and here what I will do I will make it to let's see what does it do to okay let it turn it's completed 
now if i do review tells review tells dot fs dot ls and if i do file this hmm, will have only b dot csv c dot csv because you know what we have done we just we we copy not we copy we take this file a.csv and paste it over the target folder okay that's done move on to the second or i mean i guess fourth one so this is the builders.fs.mk dot mk directory so now we have only two directory if i go back to my previous step you can see we have a source uh, folder we can say target folder i will create a new folder called uh, source underscore new so how will i write i will write dbutils.fs.make directory then uh, copy this okay and i will make it new so what does this function do it will go and check whether or uh, you know whether a uh, directory is already created or not if it is then it will go and uh, it will not do anything okay if it is not created it is if it is not already present then it will go and present the new directory if i run this succeed it and if i just refresh it you can see we have a source underscore new so you can see you know that in the source folder we have uh, two files Okay, and it is already present and if i am trying to create a new folder i mean if i trying to create a source folder again then let's see whether these things will remove the files that the content and in, inside the folder will remove or not if i do it again not remove okay what i said okay this is this is also done then move on to the next part that is gpu dot dbutils dot dbutils dot fs dot directory copy move put command what does it do it will you know uh, it will keep uh, a data or store a data into the folder so first argument or first parameter is the uh, the folder path okay or we can say a file path so right now we have a b.csv c.txt i will make it i will write here d.txt okay and uh, here i will pass some something like my name saga okay i will make it to what written so if I go back and if I run this uh, ls command, then you can see we will have uh, three files, okay, t.txt and the modification time also it is, it is showing in a size is 5, but shown here. Okay, that is also done. Two means, I guess, it will overwritten, overwrite the data. That's why we need to use it. That is also done. The last command is dbutils dot fs dot ls not ls head and head means it will return a content of the file an example if i write it down the same path and if i pass five here then let's see what it will return it will return saga okay for example if i have a saga prajapati here and if i use only five here then saga will uh, will will, print, will get printed if i use here for an example seven then one two three four five six seven so saga space p should be printed let's see saga and p has been printed okay so this is what dbutils commands we have seen we have a mount command also so we will cover it in the next lecture because uh, for that we need to you know we need to learn many things about mount how does it work and what does it do how to 
data connection, product, uh, secret scopes, and everything. So I will go to this Geek Coders channel. This is my channel, and uh, here I have uh, created many YouTube videos regarding data engineering, Spark, and SQL, and everything. If you are interested, you can go and watch it out. I hope it will, you know, it will helpful to you guys. And yeah, that's it. Then we will we will see we will see you in the next lecture.